So I've hooked up an AC inline to this grow watt 5 kilowatt grid tie inverter. Um, now all I've got to do is hook up a DC power feed to it to uh, see if it'll fire up. So that's what I'm doing now with these five 20 volt Milwaukee batteries. Go ahead and confirm it's got AC feeding it. Oh, we'll do DC first. Uh, we're in auto ranging. That'll be a good thing. So we're going to go from uh, there. That's why we're missing the DC in is currently our issue. Coming in, that has not fired it up. Do we have AC? We do have two hundred and thirty seven volts. Well, 100 is the minimum, so we might stick another battery in series. And the way I blew that up was, uh, yeah. Now they made to take up to 60 volts. And I put, uh, it's 5 or 6 18 volt Makita packs that were still okay. Still had good output. I put all them together and uh, blew up a, that had it on a, uh, uh, AC heating element, a jug heating element, it's meant to be 1600 watts. And yes, I let the smoke out of the, um, let the smoke out of the unit, and uh, that was the end of it. Alrighty, moment of truth time again. Let's uh, see if we've got voltage now. Please select VDE 02611. Alright, I need to uh, consult the startup manual. 
right YouTube it's uh, measuring the AC it's got a kilowatt hours for the today total kilowatt hours 25,000 shit it's done some work saying waiting I'm not sure what it's waiting for it said there PV 120 volts that's our solar input I think it needs a second string to fire up guys, I think that's what's going on. I've only got some um, MPPTA hooked up and this had, this had four inputs originally it looks like. So I wonder what happens if I bring my other pair up, see if that'll start it. And just touch them on the appropriate two. Set you down over here for a sec. I'm just being extremely mindful of what I'm doing here. I'm not so worried about my side of the AC. More worried about the uh, hundred and twenty volts DC we got going on here. Remember that one? Drop the charge out of the uh, capacitors when you disconnect the DC side. Uh, I believe turn off procedure is AC first. So all this is is we then have enough voltage uh, to overrun the 230 coming in. Which is stopping it from pushing power in. This one can handle up to 600 volts, which I believe legally that might be the highest you can go with a domestic DC solar string. So we'll get this uh, AC isolated. It's come up with uh, no AC connection and a fault light. We're just going to That's cool, it comes up saying no AC connection. This, that's what protects the linesman and all the workers. The grid tie won't put out unless there's AC into it. And it stops straight away and that's how they protect linesmen. Otherwise the linesman could get fried by everyone's grid tie setups. I don't know if you knew that.
Right, so that was just running on capacitors there. Hopefully it's dropped some of the, yeah, dropped most of the juice out. Be mindful of that, guys. There are huge capacitors in this thing. Hello, for interest's sake, let's open it up and have a look. I'll come back. All right, guys, here's the belly of the beast. This is a Grow Watt PV grid inverter. Obviously, PV, photovoltaic grid inverter. She's a 5000 MTL. So, uh, normal AC output is 4600, but up to 5200, the uh, website says. You can take two strings of uh, 15 amps DC, and uh, that's up to 600 volts. Um, so, if we do the quick mass, 600 times 15 is 9 kilowatts, so yeah, it's too much. 5000. By 240, it's 20 amps. So I won't be able to do this back through a normal AC lead for testing. Not for testing, I might be able to out in the shed, but in here. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect um, this out to the shed and uh, see if we can boost the AC and run. Well, it's essentially running stuff off my source rather than the uh, AC main source. So, uh, I don't have a uh, special meter or anything, but what it will do is uh, ensure that there's power on my side of the meter, generating it higher than what's coming in off the grid, so it'll use mine first. Anyhow, we'll play with that at another stage. We need more voltage first. So, what I just learned from my quick test there, is we have these lines come in from our solar inputs that's just a communication port they're just uh, more communication ports to program and mess around with the that's your AC in slash out so that's got to be connected to permanent on AC big piles of caps we have these sealed up um, units up the top here. They are obviously our inverting sources. More caps everywhere. So, long story short, I was given this just today. Um, to open up and have a look inside. The bloke said, Yeah, no, no worries, have a look inside, see what you think. So, that's what we're going to do, and I thought, well, he said it was decommissioned because something was wrong with it. Um, so all I thought was, let's let's connect up AC to it, see if it livens up. It didn't liven up. And I thought, well, it needs a PV source. I know my neighbour's one doesn't turn on until there's enough uh, solar energy to light it up. There's just got a bright blue LCD display. That lights up and away it goes kind of thing. Theirs is only a 1.5 kilowatt one. This is a 5. Um, so I really need some solar panels. Or a friend who's got two strings that will get up and over. Um, up and over the uh, threshold for it to start pumping AC. Just to see if this works. Um, we've got a fuse in there. I might just see if I've got continuity across that. Might have to put you down for a sec. That's pretty awesome. Zero ohms. So that's direct connection. Zero resistance. Looks like some current measuring devices down there. The whole enclosure is earthed. So I figured I was going to be reasonably safe. The uh, circuit I plugged it into is RCD protected. So if it's full of water or uh, some kind of ground fault or a 
current leakage inside this box when I plugged it in uh, I thought I had a reasonable chance of being okay I'm more worried about the DC side of things um, as you've seen I had to uh, drop the energy out of these out of these uh, feed cables I was lucky enough that these were still plugged into it which is awesome because I didn't have I don't have anything to terminate to them uh, they would have had to buy some so this was given to me it was installed back then so it's really not that old I'm going to suss out and see if any of my friends have got a uh, PV system and they're willing to let me plug into it's probably not going to be until after Christmas now oh guys sorry um, I just need two strings well, more up to four strings as many as I want plug the four strings in um, and tap their inverter lines I think yeah, my electrician mate should have a grid tied his ass so we should be right to do that or at least he'll know somewhere where he can test it even if he tests it for me I'd like to be there and make a video for you though um, we can then test this beast and see if it works if it works we're getting some panels in a big hurry and uh, making a grid tied um, grid tied mini setup that we can feed some panel power back in um, and once I charge a power wall which I want to build and my power wall's charged what we'll do is we'll get a uh, charge control that's smart enough to divert the power coming from the panels through a relay uh, this one here can shunt it off to a um, discharge load anyway so if that one can do it there's going to be some awesome ones out there that will do that if you know the name of one drop it in the comments for me that way we will be able to we'll be able to uh, feed some sunlight back into the grid because I'm not going to have like a 50 kilowatt power wall and uh, the bloke that gave me this said he's going to hook me up with some X display panels solar panels and uh, some of them are like 300 watters so if I can manage to get hold of a string of 300 watters even if we've got to pay for some of them uh, that would be awesome I thought I'd show you guys the inner workings of a 5 kilowatt hour grid tie grow watt in plate is a massive heat sink up to these would they be moth sets? I'm struggling to come up with the, it's on the end of my tongue but I'm struggling to come up with the name of these things hopefully none of them are dead if they are hopefully my electrician might will be able to go oh we uh, just swap these feed wires with these feed wires and away it goes he's really clearly like that we should be fine um, failing that it's cool we got to pull something apart um, all these capacitors we'll be able to make something out of maybe a spot welder who knows anyhow thank you for watching YouTube I know this has become a very long video if you're still watching thank you thumbs up thumbs up to you thumbs up to me I'm excited about playing with this there's gonna be more videos on it if you know something about grid tie inverters and you think you can help email me drop me a comment below and I'll give you some contact details whatever let's have a chat about it I want to play with these I can get a few more of them I can get a uh, SMA one or solar city one SMA one it's only a two kilo or something he goes do you want this one or the SMA one because he scraps them because of the aluminium and this is a bit of copper in them scrap yards probably just smash the aluminium off them and uh, throw the rest in the steel bin um, he goes which one do you want I'm like well don't really know much about grid tires which one's better I was actually looking for solar panels of all things I'm gonna come up with this so more to come thanks for watching thanks for subbing catch us in the next one more videos to come guys